Sometimes, a single moment can affect those present in such adverse ways. When Willie Carter and Julius Wormsley went down late in the second quarter, that was the end of the half. For senior Devin Walker, it could have been the end of his life. In that moment, first downs and touchdowns become completely irrelevant, and suddenly it became an issue of whether another half of football should even happen. Was that ever actually an option at some point? No, we never. You know, I thought about it for a second, but no, it wasn't an option. It was just a quick feeling, a quick notion. The guy stayed in ha in, at halftime so so long. You know, you know, we just the locker we had. We really didn't have anything to tell him. Like we don't have anything to tell him now. Did you want to play the second half at that point? Man, at first everybody was just, you know, reflecting, and praying, but definitely. All anyone could do outside of that ambulance was hope and pray their fallen comrade wouldn't be a casualty of the very thing helping him through school. We pray for Devin. The incident may have not changed anyone's commitment to the game of football. But Walker has made others a little more mindful of the risks involved. I feel like that's a homeboy. That's a, he's from Louisiana. I'm from Louisiana. We're from the River Parish. So, I mean, I hope the best for him. I really do. I'm going to just continue to pray for him and hope that everything turns out good. McCoy also mentioned it was the first time in his career to ever witness an injury of that nature, and hopefully the last. While it seems trivial at this point, TU did win the game 45-10 to and is off to a 1-0 start in league play. Reporting in the newsroom, John Laws, Tulsa's Channel 8 Sports.